Okay, um, David is going to prepare some homemade slaw ingredients, cabbage, lemon juice, Duke's mayonnaise, always the best, and sugar, and then he'll salt and pepper it. Okay, David's cutting this cabbage up. Okay, this is about a quarter of a cabbage right here. And we're going to start by having a large bowl and a grater. And we're going to start by moving this along the grater. I know some people probably use a Dicer electric pan, but uh, I found this old fashioned uh, grater really uh, does the best for what you need. Okay, after grating up the cabbage, you'll see that there's still some large leaves left over. And these you don't want to waste. Uh, we're going to wash them with a little bit of water and I have an electric uh, blender and I'm going to show you how to grade these down and mix back into what's left of the uh, original. Okay this is the cabbage how it should look after you grate it. It's nice and uh, chopped up and ready to add our ingredients to it and we're going to uh, add in some sugar. We don't want too much. I really don't measure. Uh, then we're going to add just a touch of lemon juice for the acid on it. You want a little bite to it. That's enough right there. About a, about a tablespoon. And next we're going to go into the Duke's mayonnaise here. And that's the best mayonnaise. Yeah, that's that's the only mayonnaise I use is Duke's. There's other kinds, but this is what makes the best. And you, like Us say, in the South eat Duke's mayonnaise. I don't measure. I just go by what I think probably three large tablespoons like this and this point we're going to start mixing and uh, that's pretty well mixed uh, I got my taste tester next to me and she'll let me know it yeah. needs more sugar or more acid to it. So, uh... Oh, yeah, I forgot the other ingredients. French's classic yellow mustard. And he's going to add that now. And we add probably... Well, first, it would help if we take the top off. <laughs> and, uh... Okay, we're going to add about a teaspoon. It's right there. And uh, that's for the uh, flavoring, uh... French is, is, is really the best to go with. Say hey. Hey. Now you can see that uh, color and that. that uh, Trust me, this stuff is good. Give it a little bit of color to this uh, cabbage as well. So at this point, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to blend all of these in the blender with some water and strain it. And we're going to add this back to the cabbage. You're going to have a nice green color with it as well so you really never throw this stuff away it is always reusable it really gives the cabbages a uh, good flavor uh, so we're going to do that in a minute okay as I said before we're going to save all the outside cabbage leaves and we're going to blend this up and what I do is I add a large glass of water to the mixer you need that water for it to uh, chop perfectly put your lid on we're going to go into a blend stop. Uh, now what we do is I have a handy strainer right here and we're going to pour this. Oh. Now finally we're going to pour the uh, cabbage that's been chopped up in the blender into the strainer like so. And as you see you got nice color to that. And we're going to let this drain for a few minutes. Excellent. Okay, <clears throat> so finally we're going to take the chopped up cabbage that's out of the blender and we'll go ahead and mix it in with the other cabbage that we've uh, already made. And uh, just look at that color in there. Nice and green. And uh, that's what a... Uh, that's what this cabbage should look like when it's done. Um, a good homemade North Carolina coleslaw. Southern coleslaw. Absolutely. Um, it's and it's sweet. Really good. It's got a little bite of uh, lemon. And uh, mustard in it, and uh, very delicious. And there she is. 
Okay, taste test. For me. Oh, for you. Mmm. It's perfect. Alright, let me try one here. Good. Okay, well that concludes our David's our David's homemade slaw. Anyway, if anybody wants to copy it, you got the recipe right there. About 30 And the steps, and that's it. Thank you. We'll do the fish video next.